to another video. Welcome to the Aero Wash Canal in Derbyshire and welcome Martin from Manchester. Hello! What brings you over to this neck of the woods? You! Yes! <laughs> Here we are. So today we've come to see the Benelli Viaduct on the former GNR Derby Frygate line between Nottingham and Derbyshire. How do you feel about that? Are you excited? It's good actually because I used to do the peaks when I was a train spotter in another line. Mm -hmm. We used to come down there and we used to do the peaks. Yeah. That's yeah. 45, 46 is so good to see it off a train because I've only ever seen it from the train tracks. And you can actually see on the, some of the brickwork there is a, a little bit of graffiti which actually does say Peaks Forever and the occasional 45 number. A bit good similar stuff. to Trent Junction up the, a couple of miles away. Good stuff. So something to keep an eye out for. So just fancy having a bit of a toddle over. Love a bit of a toddle over, yeah. So most of you have probably know Martin from his channel, Martin Zero. This is his address, not his home address. <laughs> I don't mainly do sort of Manchester, but the slogan of the channel is Manchester and beyond. So today we are beyond and it's wonderful. Sometimes it is nice to experience something that you're not used to, something that you're not familiar with. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's nice to get out there and see what is actually out there in the wider world and show it to the rest of them. Oh, this is burning my bottom. We'll have to get off this. That's it. Well, that's lunch sorted out. Let's go. <laughs> so we've climbed up the steep embankment away from the canal. And we're going to head off through these narrow bush and spiky things and I'm going to turn you around and we're going to approach and enter the viaduct. So the first thing we come to is the Arrowwash Valley Line. In that direction we're going towards Long Eaton, Toton Yard and also a branch off onto the Nottingham branch that takes you towards Nottingham. In the opposite direction Langley Mill, Chesterfield and Sheffield and further on towards Leeds and Manchester. So thanks to the friends of the Benelli Viaduct, we can take a look at some really, really old images from the period of when this viaduct was in construction. Now, the reason that iron was chosen for the construction of this viaduct was basically down to the weight of the material. The land around was heavy in mining and it was prone to subsidence, so iron was considered to be lighter material than that of brick. So in this scene, we can see the viaduct is an advanced stage of construction. And if we were to zoom in on that very same image, we can see a much clearer, crisper picture of the ironworks and its beautiful chimney stack on the right hand side of the buildings. In this fantastic scene from what was believed to be the mid 1930s, we've got the original footbridge crossing the Arrowwash Valley line and the signal gantry just behind and what appears to be a working behind that on the railway. On the right hand side, we've got the brick buildings, the warehouses and some of the old storage rooms for the ironworks, which is in front of the main buildings of the site. And here we have a very, very rare shot of a working going across the viaduct, believed to be heading in the Nottingham direction and believed to be from the mid 1950s.
We're late for the Vigil, that's 443 metres. We've just crossed from one side to the other, and also the girders across the bottom, 526 of them, and we had to walk on either one. I point out that between each girder, is is solid um, base there's no like gaps to fall down so i'm not advising you to come up here but it is worth it for a look around but you're not going to drop through the gaps if you do decide to come up Originally, there was an ironworks on this site, so all this barren land around it incorporated an ironworks. Now that opened in the 1870s, and it carried on trading or making the iron up until 1934. Now the railway in the background ran as far as Bullwall, and it was known as the Benelith Bullwall Line, and there was the junction just over the back there. And there's also a signal box over there, which we'll show you a picture of. So let's take a look at the ironworks and where it was situated. Now you can see clearly that it's such a huge site that the ironworks were situated on. And if you look to the far right hand side, you can see Benlin Viaduct just appearing in the right hand corner of your screen. And in the lower left hand corner and the bottom of the picture, you've got Benley Junction and the sidings for the ironworks. In this closer image, we can see the neat layout of Benley Junction itself how it curves off and forms part of the sidings and the Erewash Valley line is at the bottom of the screen. Now I just love this image, the way the line is clearing off to the right towards Ball and you've got this service, this freight working storming towards you, full head of steam, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, this image by David Blower, now that shows a light engine movement passing the sides of the ironworks but it's now under the control of the National Coal Board. But if you look to the right, you can see the little brick buildings. Now these came from the site of the original ironworks. Now this is the Benley site in its final working years of life with the rapid loader on the right hand side under the control of the National Coal Board. Uh, this is another image from the opposite direction showing a working going past the rapid loader and you've got it, it the Benley viaduct is completely obscured. Now jumping to the present, this is looking towards Bullwall. We've got the ironworks site and Benley Viral is on the right hand side. Now this is the path of the line and you can see that there is absolutely nothing that remains. It is just a barren wasteland. There is however still a little stubble track and the frame of a signal. And the direction going away from us, that is towards Bullwall as we've just seen in the previous shot. And behind us is the Erewash Valley line and the River Erewash. This is looking at the River Erewash. We're now on top of the signal looking at the River Erewash and the Erewash Valley line. You can just see Benley Viaduct to your left. And further on to the left is the site of the previously mentioned rapid loader with just concrete, weeds and a few rails in between. Right, Benley Viaduct, your opinions. You like it? You glad? Brilliant, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Never never knew that existed yeah, to be honest with you. No, it's um, something I've known about since I lived a few miles away in the village of Trial since I was about five years old. I only ever walked across it about four weeks ago for the first time. I thought I was going to have to wait until it was all redeveloped and the decking was put down, but... We've just got in there before they've done that really, haven't they? Because probably if you come, after you've seen this video, it might be shut off because they're going to redevelop it. I believe that's in the very near future. It's not like a long-term thing. That is going to be happening, I'd say, before the end of this year. Something's going to start happening. It'd be a nice place to return to when it is done so we can compare the then and now and uh, return in a couple of years, maybe. Yeah. So we're going to leave it there, we're going to take Martin to Fledborough on the LDECR, but this is the end of my video. We're also going to go for a pint, a pint, and a cup of tea, and a biscuit, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks Martin for coming down. No problem. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>